waiting on my two o'clock appointment. She's still in her. Yeah, you had her before. You did. How was she? you the one with the 
coins. So I'ma just get you seated and situated so that I can get started on your nails, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, so now that I do have you all seated and situated, I'm going to just go ahead and get started by placing the nails on your hand, okay? Since you are just getting a little simple, spooky look today, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my nail filer first so that I can file your nails down, okay? We got to make sure your nails is all nice and filed, okay? But girl, let me tell you some tea, girl, cause I don't know nothing about you, but you don't know nothing about me, but we girls, so honestly, we just got a gossip, girl, so tell me why, um, you know Carmen and Corey off YouTube, they was this big YouTube couple back in the day around the time when the YouTube couples was real big, girl, they was this big YouTube couple on YouTube, okay? And so they actually end up breaking up because Corey, he was cheating on Car he was cheating on Carmen for years. Okay, he was doing her wrong, dogging her out, cheating on her. She ended up making a song, a song exposing him. Okay, yeah. So with that being said, they had end up breaking up. You know, she currently in her glow up. Like I said, she made a song about him. Um, she built a really big support system and fan base. She currently dating the Memphis rapper Big Boogie Girl. Yeah, Big Booty is something like that. I don't know which one it is, but she currently dating him, girl. So, um, the other day, yesterday, so Corey, when he moved on from Carmen, he been moved on a long time ago, because honestly, he been cheating for years, okay? But anyways, when he moved on from Carmen, he basically started dating this girl named Maddie. She's an actor and a model or whatever the case may be. I'm not really sure that's what I've seen in her bio. But you know, everybody be having actor and model in their bio. It's this girl I know who work at McDonald's. She be having model in her bio on Instagram. Instagram, I be like, girl, I ain't judging you. Get your coins in McDonald's, but what you modeling for? You in a McDonald's commercial, girl, you is. Yes, ma'am. He end up dumping her, girl. He end up dating this lady named Danny. Um, people be saying she a scammer. I don't know how true that is. I can't speak for that lady, but she is a millionaire. She got a real big house, a lot of nice cars and stuff. I honestly think that's the reason Cora started dating her, if you ask me, because since when... I thought he used to talk bad about black girls. I ain't gonna lie. I could have sworn he used to talk bad about black women. Back when he was with um, Carmen. I don't know, girl. He kind of gave off colorist vibes. But, um, yeah, so he started dating this girl named Danny. And, um, this is how long you want your nails. Okay, I thought so, girl. They be coming up here all the time for these long nails, trying to be like me and stuff. But anyways, girl, um, so he started dating her, and yesterday she basically exposed him. They been having trouble, so she been going live exposing him lately. So she basically said that the, um, the car shows that Corey be doing, they be fake. You know, she said he be scamming his supporters, but that ain't nothing new that we didn't already hear from Carmen, honestly. And the, um, what's the girl named? The Medic girl did the same thing, like, whenever she was messing with Corey. Once they started, once things started to get bad in paradise, she basically came online to a girl and started exposing him, too. Saying all kind of stuff, but some of this stuff we had already knew, because Carmen had put us on game about it. When she exposed him, you know, when she got with Big Boogie or whatever, and she was on live. Okay, girl, so, yeah, that, hold on, ma'am, I think I took too long to glue the nail down. So, let me just go back in with the, um, the glue, okay? Yeah, girl, so that's basically what happened. So, people also was going crazy about Gypsy Rose and her baby daddy, girl. 
they basically saying to her baby daddy not really into her and you know what's kind of crazy is she had left her her husband ryan for um ken and everybody basically saying that ken not really into gypsy like that they don't really like her like that girl i was like the tea is hot baby because some people were saying um they saw them in public Wherever she live at, wherever they live at, they saw them in public and they basically said that he was walking, walking real far behind, behind her like he really didn't want to be seen with her. But honestly, they could have got into an argument because I know when I be getting into an argument with my baby daddy, baby, I'll be 10 steps behind just because I'm mad doing it on purpose. But, um... Yeah, they said when they seen him in public, Ken, basically, he seemed like he didn't want to be seen with her. Like, he was 20 steps behind her, walking real slow when she was leading the way. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, honestly, body language is everything, girl. And anytime I watch their videos, I'm not trying to be that person, but he always seemed like he don't want to be there. And that's just me keeping it real like he. Like, when I be seeing their videos and stuff, it always seemed like a real forced smile, you know? And to me, I feel like that was a bad move on her end. Because to me, if a man ever end up breaking up with you, a man can tell you anything first and foremost, okay? He can tell you that the sky is, sky is gray and the sky is blue. Okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but you get what I'm saying. Like, a man can tell you anything, so never really believe a man's words. But believe a man's words, okay? If a man tell you, if a man break up with you, and he leave you high and dry, and all of a sudden he want to come back when he see you doing your thing and doing good, girl. That ain't no man that love you. That's a man that want to use you and that's looking at you like a sugar mama, okay? So you can take that risk at your own risk. But honestly, girl, I won't do it. So this kind of the vibes that can give me, like, he give me vibes Um, that he don't really want to be with Gypsy, but he, he like the benefit of what comes with her, if I'm being honest. And then she, I feel like she kind of got pregnant too quick when they got back together, girl. Like, y'all only been together for 10 business days and you pop out with a baby girl. I know that sometimes it be like that. I know how it is, but to me it's like... I don't know if I, if a man already broke up with me and we got back together. I'm not trying to get pregnant no time soon. I understand, Ken. It's like the love of her life and stuff. But, girl, I be like... But, girl, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I personally wouldn't have gotten pregnant by him, honestly. Because it's just... It's too much at this point. Like, he didn't left you for another lady. It's honestly, girl, they've been exposing him. It's a man been exposing him. I'm not trying to tell his business, but um, I don't know if it's true or not. But he got exposed for being on um, DL. Yeah, it was other men that was coming forward exposing him, basically saying, telling Gypsy she need to be careful because they don't really think that he's into women. And there's nothing against men that like other men. I don't have nothing against that do what makes you happy, baby, at all times. Because I know I'm going to do what makes me happy. But they basically was just warning her and telling her that she needed to be careful because they've been seeing him on, you know, male dating sites you know some people even said they met him off of male dating sites and they was telling gypsy to be careful but for some reason she don't want to believe it i don't know but every time i see them together i honestly always get an off vibe like he really don't want to be there genuinely but on next i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my fingernail polish since we do have your nails all on them Girl, I'm telling you, you just really got to look into the Gypsy Rose situation, honestly, because if you really pay attention to a man, can, you can kind of tell, you can kind of tell that he really don't want to be there. Like, it give them vibes, girl. If you, if you can read body language, you can tell that that man really don't want to be with her. And 
now she pregnant. I don't know. I feel like they gonna end up breaking up if you ask me. I feel like he gonna end up leaving her. I'm not trying to jinx that situation, girl, but I don't know. I just feel like you can just see it. You can just see it clear as day whenever you look at them. Like, she always give the vibes that she's more into him than he's into her. And them kind of relationships, girl, they don't never work out. Because you got to date the man that like you more. Honestly, if I'm being honest, you got to like them. You got to date the man that like you more. You can't date no man that you like more than he like you. Because them kind of relationships, they don't never work out. They don't never work out when you sit around dating a man who that you like more than he like you, baby. He gonna feel like he the prize. So you gotta date somebody that like you more. Cause who wanna date somebody that like, like as a woman, you should always date a, a boy or a man that like you more. But I'm really loving these spooky Halloween nails, girl. I did me some the other day, but I had to take them off cause I ended up poking myself in the eyeball. Yeah, plus you know I got kids and stuff, girl. So I was like, no, ma'am, I can't take no risk. I'm not finna be walking around there losing my eyesight just because of some nails. They was real cute, though, just like yours. I did them just like yours, too. Yeah. But, girl, the tea was piping out these last couple of days. It be so much going on on the internet, girl. That be honestly like my entertainment for the day. Just other people business. I'm other people business. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they be putting it all on the internet anyway, girl. They be putting it all out for us. Cause they basically get they basically getting paid to tell us their business. So they they like I might as well tell my whole life story. Some people be taking it a little too far though. Honestly, talking about they. Gucci's thinking that thing. I'm like, hold on now, ma'am. This is a too much information. We don't need to know all that. Walking out the bathroom smelling like you didn't left your old Gucci in there. Don't nobody need to know that, girl. I don't know what's going on, but, um, yeah. These nails looking good, though, girl. I really love these nails on you. I feel like the long nails really suit you. But you know the, the long nails they are more pricey so with that being said um it's gonna actually be around 200 dollars once we finish because i am almost done these don't never take me long to do but when i do get done it's gonna be around 200 dollars do you got that ma'am and i gotta let you know i can't do no special deal no special cut season none of that okay this is already a deal itself. It's the spooky special, okay? But I can't sit around doing no deals. I can't sit around doing none of that, ma'am. I need all my coins. It's a rough time in this world for everybody. I understand that, but you shouldn't be coming to the nail salon if you don't have enough money. Because I did hear about you. I'm not going to lie. They be gossiping in the nail salon. We all be gossiping, girl, but... Um, uh, I just be spilling the, the stuff I see on the internet. Honestly, I don't sit around and talk about people. But, um, your girl, they basically said, um, you don't be paying like that, girl. They said you be real cheap. Hold on, girl. Give me one minute. My phone ringing, okay? Hello? Do I really got to come and get him right now? I'm in the middle of a client. I do. He be in that bed, girl. Okay, I guess I just got to leave. Okay. I'm on the way. Some bad news, girl. I got to end your appointment early. Because I do got to go pick my son up from school. Because he be in real bad. Yeah, they just called me on the phone and said I gotta come get them right now because they can't control him. I don't know what kind of teachers they got at this school. But I'ma just go in there to go pick up my son. You was running late and I tried my best to be patient, girl. But my kids come first, okay? This is your nail.
since I only did one hand, all I'ma charge you is a hundred dollars, okay? You know my kids do come first, so I do gotta go, girl. I'ma see you next time, okay? Cause I don't know why this boy playing with me, but I'm finna take the bill to the school.